So the trip to Jamaica is finally getting out the group chat. You have the flights booked, the hotel booked. Now you just need to get those outfits together so you can slay on your tropical vacation, baby girl. That's what I'm here to share with you today. Everything I wore in Jamaica to give you an idea of what to wear on all the different excursions so you can look amazing and enjoy your vacation in style. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, it is your girl Jordan of Little Miss JB Style, former engineer turned full-time content creator, serving up outfit inspirations, especially for my pear-shaped shorties who are struggling to find the right pieces to flatter your body. That is what I am here for, baby. And of course, to give y'all just a little bit of entertainment and the jokes as well. You know your dopamine dealer gotta do what she do, okay? So if you've been following along my channel, then you already know your girl was traveling like it was my birthday month, which it was not. I was out celebrating my girls. Shortly after my six-night Caribbean cruise on Royal Caribbean, I turned literally right around in the same week and dipped to Jamaica to party with my other girls and to celebrate my girl Rose's birthday as well. So I wanted to share with you some outfit inspiration and give you a look at what I wore, letting you know what worked, what didn't, for all the different things that you might get into in Jamaica. As always, baby, if there's a look you are loving, you gotta have it. Uh, why don't get keep? There are links in the description below because I want you to be able to slay and look good and feel amazing, boo. Let's get into it. What's my birthday outfit? Gotta scroll back to my phone. Does anyone else just like sing about what they randomly do or what they are currently doing? Because what is that called? Starting off with my airport outfit, we left bright and early. I'm talking 6 a.m. out of O'Hare Airport. So I wanted something that was gonna be warmer than what I wore on the airport to Texas because your girl messed up. So I went with this matching set from NAKD. You have seen this before. I love this set. A knit set is so cozy, it's so breezy, it's so easy to wear. I actually did share this in my airport's outfit video because truly, Truly, I can't say enough good things about it. The top I have in a size small and the pants are in a size medium. And what I love specifically about this set and these pants are the length. Like, they are not too long. A lot of my other matching sets, they're very, very long. And I am 5'6", so I'm average height. And I really hate, especially, like, for the airport or just something more casual, like, feeling as though I have to put on heels. I really don't like that. So I really love this NAKD set for that because, again, super comfortable, very bright, very fun, especially because we're headed to Jamaica, somewhere bright, somewhere colorful. I really wanted to keep it on theme, but again, be cozy and comfortable for the airport, and this fit absolutely did just that. However, I will say once I got to Jamaica and felt that Jamaican heat, that sun, or if you have not been, if you've not been near the equator, that equator sun hits you different, okay? Just be prepared. Like, the heat, like, the difference in temperature you're going to feel from the shade to the sun will almost be, like, it will take you it will take you by surprise if you are not used to it so i will say if you have a long car ride like we did because we end up staying in the grill you might want to change into something a little bit breezier like a dress or something like that because when i tell you the heat was real in that outfit i swear to god and this is what the other girlies wore to give you an idea of the other airport outfits as well and we all agree mistakes were made like they just really felt like there was no good outfit to arrive in jamaica in because it was just so hot like the difference in heat was ridiculous so we decided to stay at azul which is a very amazing resort i will talk more about that in my vlog and we decided to go right into celebrating my girls b day with a dinner on the beach and this is the outfit that i wore this set is from pretty little thing i will not lie um pretty little thing has been slowly becoming one of my new favorite places to find pieces the top i'm wearing in a size six and then the bottoms i'm also wearing in a size six i will say that i'm not loving the style of this top simply just because of the strap placement honestly i will just go to the tailor and have him move them over just a little bit i felt like they just were too wide but honestly though i still look good i still look amazing and i actually have already reworn the skirt back here in detroit this is how i styled it because i'm really feeling more my core right now and i don't know about y'all but it's living in my head rent free and i am slaying it hence this outfit and this was really really perfect so i didn't even bother putting on heels Here's a look at what some of the other girls wore. And I'll make sure if there's anything that they're wearing you're loving, that will be linked in the description below too. Again, don't worry, I'm not gatekeeping here. But I did want to give you examples beyond just my pear-shaped body with, my, with what my friends wore. So this I would say if you're doing dinner on the beach, skip the heels. I personally went with sandals. You can wear heels. I just suggest that you wear heels that are easy to get on and off because it's not going to be fun to like untie them, sit down and retie them. Like... Nobody got time for that. We are here for maximum enjoyment. You want to have a good time, especially if you're going to drink after. Like, it's just not even worth the hassle. So if you have some cute sandals, go ahead and go with that. Honestly, like, no one's going to give a f about it. But if you truly feel like I got to be the baddie at all times, again, you can go with heels. Just make sure that there's something you can easily get on and off. 
The next day was a little bit chaotic because we actually didn't have our excursions booked and planned and ready to go, which is a first for me, but we did get it nice and sorted out because again, our resort, they like literally took care of everything. So it was so nice to have that experience. And, I, and again, I will talk about that more in the vlog. But what we ended up doing the first day was literally just luxuriating on the resort because there were so many things to do. They had all kinds of fun water activities, all inclusive, all you can drink. So your girl got cute. We use this time to do some photo ops, but then get a good base tan going. This is what I wore. You have seen this swimsuit if you watch my swimsuit collection video. This is from Ami Swim. And when I tell you, it was it thing body so comfortable very thick so it didn't really feel like anything was accidentally showing through the the little knot tie details immaculate right and then i really went with barbie i don't know why i was really feeling barbie core but i then went ahead and layered it with this set from target yeah target the target the future collective they have been slowly stepping up their game and i'm not mad this this gave everything it needed to give and the best part was actually that at the hotel, one of the pools was giving Barbie vibes, so I was able to snap this kind of really cute editorial. I'm just saying, so I feel like if you're doing a day at the beach, honestly, a good swimsuit and a cover-up, and just make sure that the cover-up actually covers you up, because depending on the type of resort you're staying at, this is a very nice resort. They were really, really strict about not being super exposed at the restaurants, because the food and the ambiance, they really want to maintain a a certain level of vibe so make sure as you're picking resorts you just pay attention because i actually had a similar experience on the cruise as well that of course going into like the buffet you can't just wear your swimsuit as a top you needed an actual top so i did bring both the top and the bottom for this but i was able to get away with my swimsuit and then the skirt as some coverage again just serving barbie serving fun and it was bright and it was colorful which is exactly what i wanted to go for because you just had all this luscious background you had this beautiful clear water y'all the water was clear and it was warm and it was I already want to go back and it was so good my jewelry actually stayed behind and I'll talk about that near the end of the video but for a day of lounging around things like that again a swimsuit that you feel absolutely amazing and personally I recommend a statement swimsuit because you're going to want to snap photos and girly I want you to put aside any kinds of self-doubt any kinds of insecurity because you're on vacation wear the swimsuit feel amazing snap the photos because you're going to look back at that and be like what was I even worried about like I was I was a buddy. I was the baddest, actually. Like, trust me, when you're in your old age, you're gonna really wish that you looked how you look now. So take those photos. I'm just saying. Then I just did a really quick outfit change for dinner, and I did want to catch the sunset again because the resort was so gorgeous, and I wanted to snap this shot. And that dress is from Zara. Yep. I actually went to return this top, and as I was walking out, I saw this dress, and instantly i mean i didn't even try it on i was like yeah i already know i already know i need that and i will say girlies depending on how well endowed you are you're gonna want to size up i'm in a medium it stayed surprisingly in place i was really really like surprised and same with the target collective skirt like i thought that was gonna ride up and be like causing issues but these stayed in place but it really wasn't riding up or like giving me much of a hassle which you know i don't like i love effortless i love easy stuff so if i have to fuss with it it's going back and no, I didn't have to fuss with this and know that I even wore this to twerk while I was in the D for Memorial Day weekend when we had Jerk and Jolof. If you are finding this video even the least bit helpful, do your girl the quickest of favors. Go ahead and hit that like button because that's going to help this video reach even more baddies trying to figure out how they can slay and where to get the fits and how to look put together and snap those pics on their Jamaican vacay. The next day we were up bright and early because it was a packed day, okay? We had ATVing and then we were turning around and getting on a sunset cruise to Rick's Cafe. Per I say the vibes on this trip was rich auntie still got it having a good time outside with the girls. You're probably noticing that is the theme. So for ATVing, because we knew we were gonna get muddy, we knew we were gonna get dirty, I honestly put the least amount of effort into this outfit and wore this. It is a sports top from H&M, which I really love actually their sportswear, especially their crop tops. They're built really well. They're super comfortable, super breathable. And then I paired it with these distressed jean shorts from Vici because I didn't want to wear anything that I was going to have to worry about. And then I finalizing the look with my Nike sneakers again because I really wasn't worried about getting dirty. And, and in hindsight, now that I've gone through the excursion, you probably could have worn something like a really, really cute top 
and you would have been okay like the excursion we went on we really didn't get super covered in dirt anything like that they took really really good care of us so i feel like i went too much on the safer side and i probably could have had a little bit more fun with this outfit especially if you want to get like the really fun atv pics like my girl did you know definitely don't be afraid to do that but also if you're worried about getting clo your clothes dirty go ahead and do the touristy thing you can splurge on like the jamaican accessories or just bright colored accessories a really cute bandana to protect your face you know maybe a fun scarf or just a cute bralette something like that will actually be really really safe when you do these kinds of excursions and always close toed shoes so make sure you bring shoes you do not mind getting dirty because those did get dirty then we came back had enough time to shower off the dirt and get ready for our afternoon sale so I bought two different outfits for this because I knew I wanted the snap pics but I also knew that I was gonna be getting in the water swimming in the caves I wanted to make sure that I had a fit that did both so for the photo offs for the baddie vibes you've seen this if you watch my Costa Rica vlog or my video on everything I wore in Costa Rica literally copied and paste literally copied and paste I ain't changed nothing I changed nothing and I share that because girlies y'all don't need to go out and buy brand new clothes every time you go on a trip I'm just saying watch a couple of my other what I wore on my vacation videos you're gonna see I rewear my stuff and I encourage you to do that that is the point of clothes right like like if you're not an influencer not a content creator and even if you are you really don't need to be wasting money on brand new clothes girl work what you got if you got it okay but this best dress from NAKD and the lighting because look at the photos look at the photos it gave everything it needed to give and here's what some of the other girls wore again just to give you an idea the fun thing about this cruise was you got to go snorkeling they took you swimming in a cave so you wanted a swimsuit of course something that you can jump in the water they gave you flotation devices in case you're not a strong swimmer so no worries there they fed you because i got the juiciest juiciest jerk chicken and the vegetables the way they saute their vegetables honestly honestly someone's gonna have to give me that recipe because it changed my life and I really just don't want vegetables any other way than how they do it in Jamaica because more on that in the vlog. So for the time on the boat, I wanted to actually make sure that I had some full coverage. So I bought this button up from Nasty Girl, which if you saw my cruise vlog and everything I wore on my cruise, this outfit's also going to look really familiar because that's exactly what I wore on our booze cruise in Mexico. Because again, it served and it did what it needed to do. I always like to bring a long sleeve button up or something because your girl is prone to burning and I really was not trying to get sunburned at all. Like I wanted to make sure I was getting the nice tan, but I was not coming back baked and then having to deal with like the dead skin flaking off because that is not cute. Then I changed back into the NAKD dress to walk around at Rick's. And then did I change for dinner? I did. Then we... <laughs> So we came back and we did have dinner reservations. There were so many good places to eat at the resort. So I really quickly changed into this dress from ASOS, which you have seen. Again, one thing I cannot stress enough when it comes to packing for a vacation, I like to go with the theme because I want to make sure that I can easily mix and match my accessories. So I'm not having to pack every pair of shoes, every bag I own, all that kind of stuff. This dress I actually wore on my solo location in Miami. It got all the compliments and I literally just restyled it. But again, with my more casual sandals from H&M, Super cozy. I love that fitted detailing around my hips and my waist. A lot of people might think that that would be uncomfortable, but because the top is nice and billowy, it actually distracts from any food baby that you might have. And again, you just have that extra material there. So if you do have a bit of a food baby, it still gives snatched and comfortable. It's not getting like tight and restricted when you wear stuff that doesn't have any stretch in it. Before I get into the rest of the looks, I am super curious. Have you been to Jamaica? If so, what was your favorite experience? Let me know in the comments below because I do plan to go back and I'm always looking for other experiences to enjoy when I go back to places that I've already been to. So let me know in the comments below your favorite excursion. And if you haven't been to Jamaica, would you go to Jamaica? Answer why you would or wouldn't in the comments below. The next day, our excursion wasn't until later towards the afternoon. So I had plenty of time to get up and not only do a photo shoot. So for that, I wore this Andrea Iyama swimsuit that they gifted me. I cannot say enough good things like... I was on the fence when I got it because you don't usually see me in silly things if you've watched any of my swimsuit collection videos and just see my style in general but this swimsuit has grown on me so much and I love it and I felt so amazing so I wanted to make sure that I was capturing it really really well especially in this beautiful location with the sunrise and the beach and the water like again when I say to pack a statement swimsuit this is why even if you wear basic swimsuits the rest of the trip like having one picture like this wearing swimsuits like this and then learning to take photos in swimsuits like this has really improved my confidence and just made me feel like more of that girl <laughs> and once i snapped the photos that i was looking to snap i actually did head to the gym so this is what i wore and this is the ivy park adidas set 
yeah this is actually what i was gonna wear on the atvs if it wasn't too dirty and again i probably could have gotten away with it because looking at the clothes and my jean and my jean shorts and how they came out of the washer all that stuff washed right off so this would have been something really really cute if you're not somebody who works out on vacation but wants some really cute active wear to wear for some of the more active or just outdoorsy activities that you might do on a vacation a really fun print set like this is always great to have and the way that this one sits honestly honestly though like there's one other brand that i've seen do it really really well and i cannot think of who they are off the top of my head but i'll make sure that i link them below because they do that very similar style where it's like that french kind of cut out in the biker shorts and it just it gives body it gives the body and i know you're probably going to ask about my workout routine baby girl there's a whole highlight on my insta stories it gives you a look at my fitness routine how it has changed over the years and what i'm currently doing now in terms of my fitness but if you want an actual dedicated video here on youtube go ahead and hit the like button and let me know in the comments and i will put that together for you after a morning photo shoot and hitting the gym it was time for our excursion and that is drum roll of course you probably already guessed yes the bamboo rafts yes we did yes i did yes of course of course i have plenty of things to say about the bamboo rafts and how they have been portrayed on social media but i'm gonna talk about that in the vlog i'm just gonna show you what your girl wore and that is this love yourself cover up with my ivy park swimsuit underneath you have seen a version of this outfit combination if you watch the outfits i wore in morocco now here's the thing now here's the thing about this outfit this was not practical let me say it louder this was not practical all right but the photo the photos that's why i wore this cover-up now you don't have to wear a cover-up like this to still get these epic photos here's what some of the other girls wore as well i just really felt like the orange with the blue and the jamaica i had a vision in my mind and sometimes it is not practical. The thing that I actually would have changed to make this practical and acceptable is actually to rewear this outfit combination from Costa Rica. So it's the same swimsuit, but the Hanifa skirt. And the reason I say this, because I will spill a little bit of tea about the rafting, you have to walk across other rafts to get to your raft, okay? That takes some agility, that takes some mobility, and this dress, you can only take those little baby steps, okay? So they were asking me to like, walk over things and i had to hike it up and do all this stuff it was a lot more work than i would say is actually worth it so keep that in mind okay and the other reason that this really wasn't practical and i would recommend a skirt or something like that is for when you get the actual massage okay and i'm gonna leave it at that and i'm gonna leave it at that and, and again i'm gonna talk more about it in the vlog then we got back with just enough time to catch the sunset again so i spent some time luxuriating on the beach and try and just finalizing my tan so i went with this swimsuit from princess polly it's so cute it's adjustable i really really love this it's great for tanning and of course it looks really amazing and i paired it with this pretty little thing zebra print cover up to take a couple more photos <laughs> i'm just saying if you see these photos imagine what my favorites get i'm just saying i'm just saying like if this is the ones i'm okay showing the whole world just know what my favorites get just just saying so for me, when it comes to swimsuits, especially like the more basic ones, I do try and find something that have an interesting detail, whether that's the pattern or right now I'm really obsessed with like the underwiring or anything that's got like an extra strap and things like that. So keep that in mind. And then of course, just like a really easy, again, mesh matching set. You know, I love me a good matching set. If you haven't seen my video on how to style matching sets, just saying, you can go ahead and check that out after this. If you don't believe that your girl has a problem because I'm obsessed 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 with the matching sets okay obsession is real and the reason i just love a good matching set again it's just so easy to throw on and wear with anything and you can mix and match especially for a vacation if you pick the right one it's like you can layer it over a bunch of different ones so the zebra print for me i feel like with any color it would look good but of course with like the black it also looks really really good as well as we see from these photos then for the last dinner on the trip oh it was so sad but something bright something colorful this dress from AFRM, that is right. If you are an avid watcher, you saw this in my new and collective haul because the deal, she is a moment. Like I have worn this dress already like three or four times for something that is this vibrant and something that does feel a little bit more of like an occasion wear dress. I feel really impressed by that statement that I've actually worn this dress quite a few times already because I understand the fear, right? Like, especially if you get a brighter color dress, this is why a lot of people stick to neutrals. If you get something bright and bold, people are more likely to remember it, which 
one that's kind of the point but then you feel like you cannot wear it as often because people will remember that dress more than say just like a very basic than just like a very basic like rib knit dress or something like that so I totally understand the hesitation when it comes to something like this however baby in 2023 what are we not caring about what others think we are wearing what we want to wear we are looking good and we are re-wearing it until the death of us okay the death of us okay we are not the girlies who only wear the things once and never wear them again that's not this squad and if you're that girl baby allow me to convert you because we're not doing that no more we care about the environment over here somebody who was formerly a sustainable materials engineer by education and by day i i understand that a big part of shopping and the pieces that i choose are for rewearability it doesn't matter where i choose them from What's more important is that you are wearing them and getting the most wear out of them. So please, please, please keep that in mind as you're thinking about what you should wear on your trips and things like that. I'm not going to be the girl that urges you out to like go and buy brand new stuff for your trip. As you have seen throughout this whole video of me literally rewearing a lot of what I own, right? Because, because one, economically, it just doesn't make sense to be that way. And then two, obviously from an environmental perspective, right? Like that's how we end up with billions upon billions of clothes literally in piles in the ocean in other countries and i'm not here to help contribute to that okay i know that seems counterproductive as somebody who does do lifestyle as someone who does share a lot of fashion but my regular viewers know i'm here not only to show you the pieces that are out there but i'm also going to encourage you and show you and show you the ways that you can wear and rewear and wear your stuff over and over again why would i change it up you're gonna see me look good in it every single time like to me there's no bigger flex than like did I look good in this five years ago and I still look good in the same exact outfit each year since? Flexing, okay? Just, to me, that's a flex. I don't care. And then literally for the airport, I wore the exact same outfit back because it was cold in Chicago when we were landing and we were landing more towards the evening. But it wasn't even that that threw me off. We were supposed to actually leave a little bit later in the morning, but because there were a couple last minute stops we wanted to make, we did end up leaving early. And the first time in literally my whole life of traveling, literally my whole whole life of traveling i forgot not just something a lot of something all of my good jewelry all of it and y'all when i tell you the hurt on my face at the airport when i had that realization like the the little like like you like you know that king you're just like before you about to break out and cry like that just like you so mad that was literally that was literally me literally it probably had to be all together between the sunglasses and the jewelry at least a thousand dollars worth of stuff like when you leave a thousand dollars worth of stuff like what do you do like are you gonna turn around and miss your flight like like are you gonna figure out how to get it shipped back like what do you even do in that situation right like i was so hurt but needless to say i will share more about what happened in the vlog um and and resolve that for you there but just know just know the hurt was so that everything not only what i wore but the other girlies because this is one of those fun chances where the girlies understood the assignment and they came to slay as well so i'm really happy that i was able to give you not just examples of pear shaped shorty outfits but outfits for other body types too because i get asked that a lot and because i am pear shaped it's really hard to talk about how to dress other body types because the reason i know so much about the pear shaped body is because that's what i have and that's what i'm used to dressing so i hope that this gave you some examples if your body is not exactly like mine or maybe shaped differently you no know, i do feel like a lot of these outfits will work regardless of the body shape but again i wanted to give you some other outfits besides what i just wore as well but be sure to tell me which outfit was your favorite honestly i feel like it was so hard to pick because i came with it like if you saw the cruise it was rich auntie with jamaica like it was definitely given <laughs> she's still a baddie She's a rich auntie, but she's still a baddie baby, okay? And be sure, because we definitely had a time on this trip, to keep your eye out for my Jamaica vlog, which will be coming up in just a couple of days. If you haven't already, baby, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? And turn on the bell notification. You do not want to miss a video because not only sharing my Jamaica vlog and more outfit inspiration, but of course, like the whole debacle about my jewelry. What do you do in that situation? And of course, videos on how I'm transitioning from being a corporate baddie into being a full-time content creator, influencer, what that journey is like, how I'm setting myself up to be even more successful than I have been. So literally so many different things to talk about. So excited to share with you. So make sure that you are not only hitting the like button because you enjoyed the video, but you are following along and don't miss a video. And I will see you in just a couple of days, Queen. Thank you for watching all the way through. Bye.